Nuclear science provides a unique lens into the health of our vast oceans. Nuclear and isotopic techniques are revealing the truth about what's really happening in these complex and vital marine ecosystems. We can find the sources of pollution, trace contaminants through living organisms and up the food chain and gain incredible insights into the effects of climate change today and in the future. For six decades, scientists at a very special facility in Monaco have been working to unlock the ocean's secrets. The IAEA's Environment Laboratories have been at the forefront of ocean research since 1961, gathering valuable insights into the least known and arguably most important ecosystems on our planet. The laboratories were first set up in Monaco's renowned oceanographic museum to monitor radioactive pollution. Monaco and its rulers have a strong connection with oceanography and have supported the labs since they first opened. Over the decades, the labs have expanded their scope as other threats have emerged, from plastic pollution to ocean acidification. Their cutting-edge work supports countries in the conservation of the ocean. Marine radioactivity remains a key issue. The facility plays a prominent role in checking samples of fish, seawater and sediment from places like Fukushima following the 2011 accident. Back in Monaco, the scientists are also looking at other contaminants like mercury, which can enter the food chain and affect the safety of our seafood. A big focus for modern marine experts is plastics research. The ocean laboratories are examining this huge issue from many angles. The data they gather is helping us understand how much plastic is actually in the ocean, where it comes from, and what happens to it as it degrades. Radio tracers can show how tiny plastic particles move through the body of a fish, and even inside models of the human digestive system. Alongside pollution, the labs are examining how climate change is threatening the fragile balance of our seas. The ocean absorbs a quarter of all the CO2 that is emitted. The resulting acidification is corroding fragile marine life, and scientists here are determined to find out exactly how big of an issue this is. Over the years, the labs have undertaken multiple international research expeditions, including a trip to the Arctic with the Prince of Monaco which retraced the journey of his great-great-grandfather from a hundred years before. During this expedition, they compared carbon from new samples with shells the old prince had collected to build a historical archive for climate. All of these studies are providing scientific data that can be published and shared. Countries are using these indisputable facts to make the most effective policies to protect their coasts and seas. Alongside research, IAEA scientists are working out new methods that are used to improve marine science globally, as well as creating vital reference materials to ensure that laboratories worldwide get consistent results. The work of the IAEA environmental laboratories in Monaco is unique. For 60 years, these labs have been helping countries confront marine pollution, seafood safety, and other emerging uh, challenges. We have been helping countries with their own laboratories. We are helping them achieve their own sustainable development goals. For 60 years, the IAEA Marine Laboratories have promoted international cooperation on ocean research and conservation. And though much has changed over the years, the key elements remain. As well as pushing the boundaries of ocean research, 
the labs have always been leaders in expanding the frontiers for women in science. And the labs have always remained hubs of scientific excellence, staffed by people who care deeply about the oceans, with the goal of protecting our incredible underwater world for generations to come.